Hi everybody, welcome back to Marie's Kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're making a lemon cream pie and it could not be easier. We'll start with a graham cracker crust, which is just three ingredients. We've got graham crackers, butter, and sugar. Then for the filling, three ingredients again, sweetened condensed milk, egg yolks, and lemon juice. And then on top, we'll add some sweetened whipped cream and that is ready to enjoy. This one is wonderful if you have a lot of lemons that you need to use up or also so just for spring, Easter, or Mother's Day, or really any time you want an easy citrus dessert that is a real showstopper. I can't wait to share this one with you. Let's get started. For the crust, we'll need about one and a half cups graham cracker crumbs. And the reason I tell you the cup measurement rather than the actual graham cracker measurement is because these can vary in size. These are real thin and these are thicker and they're the same brand, just different styles of graham crackers. You really never know what you're gonna get. And also, in case you wanna make this gluten-free, you can use a gluten-free cookie or graham cracker. So I'd rather give you the cup measurement than the cookie measurement. So we're just going to take out about 10 graham crackers. We'll grind that up. I'm just gonna put these into a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender or you can also just put them in a Ziploc bag and mash them up with a rolling pin. Then we'll just pop the lid on that. And blend it up. Okay, that looks good, nice and finely ground. Now we'll just measure out about one and a half cups of our graham cracker crumbs here. This is definitely one of many things that I use my food processor for, so if you'd like the link to that, I can put it in the description box and also in the recipe. So here's a half cup, we'll add that to our bowl, and one more cup. Level that off here. Now we need six tablespoons melted butter, and that's unsalted butter. Just grab our butter here, and of course you can measure right there on the butter. I like to go over the basics just in case you're new to cooking, but there's um, just it's broken into tablespoons right here on the side of the butter, so we'll just go to one, two, three, four, five, six, go to about six tablespoons, and cut that off. And then we're just gonna pop this in a glass or Pyrex, cup and put this in the microwave. So here's our six tablespoons melted butter. We're gonna add that to our graham cracker crumbs. And then two tablespoons of sugar, and this is optional if you're using a sweeter cookie for the crust, you don't have to add sugar. It's really up to you. Then we'll just mix this together. Okay, this looks great and it already smells so good. I love the smell of graham crackers and butter. Such a nice kind of nutty smell. Now we're just gonna pour this into a 10 inch pie plate. You can use nine or 10 inch. And then we'll just press this down. Kind of press that around, kind of getting it even on the bottom and on the sides. Just using my spoon here to start. Just pat that down. And I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. It's actually freezing outside, which is kind of unusual in Texas. So I did preheat my oven early. I'm letting it kind of warm up the house as we <laughs> film here, trying to keep warm. Okay, next, what you wanna do is pack the crust in a little bit better so you don't have it real crumbly. And I'm just gonna use the back of one of my measuring cups to just kinda of pack that in. And as you pack it in, it naturally kinda of raises it up the side. So you can use your hand to flatten out the edge there. So 
So we'll just kind of press this up against the side with your finger and the measuring cup till you get it nice and even, even-ish. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. We're never going for perfection in baking or cooking or anything in the kitchen. That is not what it's about. It's about just really enjoying yourself and making some good food. There we go. That looks great. We have this nice edge here and this is ready to go in the oven. So we're gonna bake that at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. While the crust is baking, we'll start on this super duper easy filling. First, you'll need two cans, 14 ounces each, sweetened condensed milk. We'll just pour that into our bowl here. This is the same bowl I used for the crust, just rinsed it out real quick. Next, we can do our egg yolks. And to separate the eggs, I'm just gonna crack the egg over a bowl here and let the white drain out like this. Move my yolk over there, let the white drain out. Then we'll put our yolk over here. One more. And if you're doing this and your yolk happens to break, it's totally okay. You don't need whole yolks for this. We're gonna whisk them into the sweetened condensed milk anyway, so broken yolks are perfectly fine. There's two and then one more, and that yolk did break right on cue. <laughs> there we go. This shell is a little cracked, so just gonna work with it. There we go. Just go back and forth until you have most of your white dripped out. Now you can save your egg whites either for say an egg white omelet. My daughter loves those. Now we'll add our three egg yolks in with our sweetened condensed milk here. Stir our egg yolks right in with the sweetened condensed milk. Whisk that in until smooth. And now we'll measure out our lemon juice. To juice the lemon, I like to cut off both ends here. Just a little bit off the end makes it a lot easier to squeeze in the juicer. In total, we'll need about three quarters cup lemon juice. So if you prefer to buy already squeezed lemon juice, that of course would make this pie even easier. It sounds like the crust is done, so we'll pull that out and let it cool. All right, this looks great. It held up really well, held its shape. We are gonna bake it again for about 20 minutes with the filling, so we'll just set this aside and let it cool now. And we'll continue on with our lemons. There's one lemon. Now we have our three quarters cup lemon juice, so we're gonna add that to our eggs and sweetened condensed milk. Just whisk that in. Now let's pour our filling into the crust here. And that fits very nicely in this 10 inch pie plate. If you're using a smaller pie plate, just be sure not to overflow your filling. So once it gets to kind of the top of the graham cracker crust, you'll wanna just stop there and bake the rest in another way. Don't overflow it with filling. <laughs> Now this goes in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Just really you want the edges to be just set and the filling should still be kind of jiggly. You don't want to overcook it and then as it cools, it'll finish cooking. Now we'll make the sweetened whipped cream and you want to be sure you give the pie time to cool before you add the whipped cream. We're gonna let the pie cool for about two hours, then we'll add the whipped cream just before serving. So for that, we'll need about one cup heavy whipping cream Got to add about a teaspoon of vanilla and then a couple tablespoons of sugar. The filling is pretty tart, so I do like to add some sugar to the whipped cream. Now we'll mix this up until we have some soft peaks. Now we have our whipped cream here, and I do have a pie that I made up 
yesterday so it's nice and cool. Again, you'll wanna add the whipped cream right before serving because it won't keep well in the fridge. Just put this on there, this nice big cloud of whipped cream and then spread that out. And I do like to show a little bit of the lemon underneath it just so you can see what kind of pie you have. And if you'd like to garnish it with some lemon zest, you can do that. Or if not, this is ready to serve. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made this easy and delicious lemon cream pie with a graham cracker crust. It was so easy and quick to make. I can't wait for you to try it. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It means so much to us and also to YouTube. That's how they decide who else sees this video. So give us a like. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I've got lots more recipes coming up and I don't want you to miss any of them. For this recipe and more, check out my website, mariseva.com. There you can go and print out this recipe and all my recipes, put them in a notebook and make your very own Marie's Kitchen Cookbook for free. My goal is to give you some really easy recipes that turn out great every time so you can build some confidence in the kitchen and feel really inspired to share good food with people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you.